Everything all right, Isabel? It's... Nothing is all right, Uncle. Nothing at all. It... Nothing is all right. You sure you don't need me? Oh, no. We've been up counting twice before for these high tests. Don't worry. Oh, good. That's very nice of you if you can manage. Well, there's uh, nothing, nothing to do. I just sit around the hospital all day while they mess around with their instruments. You'll be just fine. We'll have them back by tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Have a good trip. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> Who is it? Is that you, Jason? See you down at the post office with all them geese. Cackle, cackle. Boys, don't they gossip? Well, I didn't go. Well, that's a change. Look, I was thinking with your Uncle Matt uh -huh. and Buck and Camelton. It might be fun if you come down for a bite. Okay? I'd love to, Viola. Just a minute. All right, Barry, eat up. How'd you make out your exam today, Wendy? Ninety-eight. Barry, Ninety-eight? Yeah. My, that's good. Barry, don't judge like Isabel's chicken. How are you and Jason making out? It's been a long time since the likes of him's been seen around, Shador. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen him today. He's all right, I suppose. Oh, well, maybe he went out fishing. I heard he bought Howard's boat. There'll be no fishing tonight because the big storm and the heavy gale wind. Sit down. Well, the radio just said wind, no rain. Gale force winds. Tonight? Perfectly good beds upstairs. She's been up there long enough without any dinner. Praying for the past half hour in the least. No religion in this house as it is. Tony Rachel's fanatic. Stop crying, Isabel. Your mother didn't mean what she said. Uncle Matthew has saved a dessert for you. Nice fresh strawberry. So, Isabel, I suppose you came down with your Uncle Matthew. You came down to get some molasses. <laughs> this must be your first day at school. Yes. Come over, Isabel, and show Mr. Secord your nice uniform. Oh, 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 isn't that something? <laughs> well, what a nice girl and what a promising looking pupil. Me fait pupil. plaisir d'accorder notre prix spécial à Isabel Garnet comme l'élève la plus pieuse de notre couvent. Now, don't spill that molasses on that nice uniform. Back to the holland. See the big pig. Home again, home again. I wonder what your father would say are you running off to the big city. You're only 18 and uh, there's lots of time for to try your wings later on. Why don't you just stay with your mother for uh, another year? She don't, uh, she don't look too good to me. Don't be silly, Isabel. Nine years old and afraid of the dark. Come on. Take my hand, I'll take you upstairs and get your teddy bear. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. He was a great fisherman. I think he was the best fisherman on the Gatsby coast. I'm going to tell you one thing that your father, when he used to land a catch, it was something to talk about. And your brother, I think, would have followed in your father's footsteps. I think it's a lot of rubbish, you guess me. When did he see it? Just before dawn. It's coming back from sea into the boat because of the wind and everything. Who saw what? My dad saw the phantom light last night. Mom said it was only Mr. Garnet walking around. Uh, insomnia is, I guess, what she called it. Thank you, Mrs. Oates. But Uncle Matthew was away. Wasn't there anybody in the house? No. I was here all night, and the house was empty. Oh, boy, wait till I tell Dad. That's one story. You'll be all over Shalers by lunchtime. Well, they say it's always seen just before dawn. Well, they're always seen something. You must not phantom this as phantom that. It's a pile of rubbish, if you ask me. Well, don't you believe the dead and come back? I do not. Well, he obviously saw something. Oh, no, it's just the reflection of the moon in the windows. Mark my words. There'll be no sign of anyone breaking in. <laughs> 